hey guys hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another video thank you so much for tuning in very much welcome uh, my name is pd the papa for those who are new thank you so much for coming please kindly subscribe like the video and share the video as well and yeah man you guys please do not skip the s for your sister much much appreciated okay so now guys let's just get down to the pasek amporo story because we hate with umporo and his son and his bodyguard they have been arrested right yeah so this is story there you guys i think kesi abogutsi like a, it has been uh postponed to the 16th of August. So umpora namtana ke you guys uh they are yet to spend another a uh, week uh, uh behind bars. Uh waiting for the 16th of course. So yeah, I mean you guys you know what happened past umpora uh went to school uh uh carrying the pangas and uh, his bodyguard he was with a gun you know uh, he was going there to fetch his grandkids from school forcefully so because uh, the other family the maternal family they did not want to give him the the grandkids so he rather went to school but then went uh armed and all that you guys so yeah i mean now he's been arrested and his son and uh, here even the maternal uh, uh, side of the family of the kids were also arrested but um out on bail but as from Boro and his son they are not uh, uh, out yet now the Boro the Terminator they say here by Pilanim Zilakazimos <laughs> they call him Boro the Terminator his son and his Gora to spend long weekend in jail this Gora is the bodyguard you guys my word <laughs> this Gora one okay Paseka Mutsuaneng his bodyguard uh, Clement Baloy and his uh, son Vincent remain, remain behind bars okay now the controversial pastor Opasekam Paramutsene will spend the long weekend behind bars pending his uh, formal bail hearing next week uh, Friday. Umpor and his son of Vincent Mutsuneng and his bodyguard Obaloi made a brief appearance at the Palm Ridge Magistrate Court uh, in the East Rand. Now their case was postponed and Umpor and his co-accused were arrested on Monday night after they were caught on camera armed at his grandchildren's school earlier on the same day speaking to the media outside court the npa spokesperson opinion john and said uh, the three suspects are facing multiple charges including intimidation assault kidnapping and possession of an unlicensed firearm investigations are ongoing and will be um, guided by the uh, treasury uh, of the investigations on whether or not we should add or remove some of the charges now she added that Mboros, uh, grandchildren's maternal uh, grandmother and uncle are also facing assault charges after umboro opened an assault case against them remember he was here saying uh they assaulted his son ganjani ganjani so they went to open a case that's why uko kwengane and umalume also um got arrested now in a series of videos um uh, that were posted on social media on monday umporo armed with the two pangas together with his armed bodyguard stormed the massive primary school and demanded to take his grandchildren when the teachers refused to hand them over the pastor started welding his pangas while warning a female teacher not to dare to get close to him he later took the children from school and claimed that they were staying with him prior to their mother's passing in april umporo claimed that the kids maternal grandmother was using them to get money from him and his son who is the father now yesterday learners from the different schools in katlehong torched down his church the incredible happenings minister in katlehong following the incident uh um that happened so now the case was postponed to the 16th of august for a formal bail application you guys uh yeah this is the story so he is to remain behind bars yenake and his son and <laughs> wow i you guys i do not know so yeah i mean has he been in jail before Ooh, but anyways it is what it is you guys uh, let us just jump into the chidima story you guys i hear with the miss south africa finalist mother might have committed a fraud when it comes to a uh, this whole uh, identity thing i got dima you guys that has been question um and as there's been investigations happening here to a high level of investigation by the department of home affairs found out that uh, the china's mother committed a fraud by using someone else's id number so this is wow so this is a uh, china's mother's fault you guys when i see it the story's been trending uh yeah man 
So it is said that with her mother registered her. Uh, she, she is the one who committed a crime at the, um at the China's mother and registered her. Like Hunga at the Honamon, Homa faces Uchidima at the China did not participate in the alleged actions of her mother, you guys, when it comes to this identity theft. The Department of Home Affairs has found the prima facie evidence that Miss South Africa contested Uchi Dima Adeshina's mother may have committed fraud. A high-level investigation by the Department of Home Affairs found that Adeshina's mother committed fraud by using someone else's ID to register the Miss uh, South Africa hopefully birth in 2001. So now uh, a request for the investigation from Miss South Africa. So could you get to avoid the embarrassment before Miss South Africa beauty pageant to be held on Saturday uh, at the Sunpit Arena in Pretoria? The organizers asked the Ioma face to investigate uh, the controversial matter. Now, in a statement tonight, the Department of Home Affairs Minister Ulion Escriba confirmed that Uatishina is not a South African citizen and that people who were involved in this fraud case would be prosecuted. Now, Uskriba said that the department was providing the update to the public uh, based on, uh, on the official request received from the Miss South Africa. Official request received from the Miss South Africa, as well as the consent provided by both the contestant and her mother. He said, upon receiving the request, the department deployed every resource at its disposal to establish the truth. This has included archival research, visits to hospital, hospitals and sites visits to verify the information. That is the Minister of Home Affairs. Now, there is an identity theft there, you guys. The minister said from the information they have uncovered so far, the department believes the fraud and identity theft may have been committed by Ajeti. Achetina or Adechina? Okay, I'm sorry. Adechina's mother and that Miss South Africa finalist could not have participated in the alleged fraud as she was an infant by that time when the activities took place in 2001. An innocent South African mother whose identity may have been stolen as part of this alleged fraud committed by Adechina's mother suffered a result because she could not register her child. Mm, now I see why well, the department has broadened its investigation to identify and pursue any officials involved in the alleged fraudland scheme and is obtaining legal advice on the uh, implications of the alleged fraudland activity on Adachina citizenship status. And upon the completion of the investigation, Home Affairs intends to press criminal charges against all the implicated parties. Now, the minister also said that there were ongoing engagements with all stakeholders, including Atechina's mother. So, there is a lot there, you guys. In the past few weeks now, since Miss South Africa announced the finalist, there has been a public outcry, with many calling for an investigation into Atechina's citizenship status. There have been reports that she was born in Soweto to a Mozambican mom and a Nigerian dad. Now, South Africans felt that she was not eligible to contest in the pageant as she was not a South African. Now, the Miss South African pageant has been thrown into a disarray, where even Gideon McKenzie, the Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, last uh, week said, if Atechina was not a South African, she should not compete. We truly cannot have Nigerians competing in our Miss SA competition. I want to get all the facts before I comment, but it gives funny vibes already. That was Ubaba Ugeton McKenzie. So, yeah, man, you guys... um. Wow. So Atechina's mother I uh, used someone else's ID to register with Atechina. So now Atechina So like I'm trying to understand. So this child didn't know exactly about all this information. Kutumawake a there was an ID theft and everything. Because if she knew nah, she shouldn't have competed good as if she knew there was an ID theft. <clears throat> Maybe she just participated because she had no idea. You know what I mean? So there is a lot there, you guys. So I guess at the end of the day, Atechina's mother will be arrested for this because and use it for, oh, you know, for up to 23 years when that person is so desperate, can't register their child or anything like Hungata there, you guys. Yo, you wanna lend up your job, my ID is just something else. So now Atechina goes to enter the Miss South Africa competition, knowing very well, good girl that 
I don't. That's, that's why I'm saying maybe she didn't know, because if she knew, girl, you are not supposed to even enter because we are we are not South African. You cannot be competing as in terms of South Africans. You know what I mean. So for you, if you knew and then you went to compete, you were also wrong. Why are you even competing? Eh, could competition even an Africa in South Africa? You know what I mean. So I guess she didn't know maybe. And at the same time, putting her mother into trouble as well, because now the mother is going to be uh, uh, investigated and arrested. You are guys who are not But anyways, you're talking to the conversation, like the video, subscribe. I'm going to get my next one. Bye.